Hi guys and welcome to another episode of Kabir Considers. In this video, I'm going to react to the logistics behind the NFL flyover. Now, like the NFL flyover, I've seen quite a few videos of the different planes, you know, the B2s, the F22s that fly over the stadiums, and it is incredible. It's something that I really, really want to witness live at one point, maybe next year. But the work that goes on behind the scenes must be huge because you got to time it. Like they usually time the flyover right when the singer sings the home of the brave. So to, to know when the planes have to fly, when the, what kind of route, it must be a, a ton of factors that go into this video here. I'm hoping it's going to explain it all. So let's do it. Look at that view. Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Fluctus channel. The Super Bowl is perhaps the perfect encapsulation of all things America loves. The big game is a mega financial source of more than 12.2 billion for the National Football League. What? Wow. I didn't think it was that much. It is also one of the few events which gets... Look at that. So this is a B2. This is, I believe, a B1 Lancer. I'm not sure what this one is. A military flyover, having the finest fleet of planes to pass overhead. Look at that show. Unbelievable. The U.S. Super Bowl flyover tradition stretches back some 50 years Nuts. and has evolved into an important part of the pregame ceremony. You cannot tell me this doesn't look like a UFO. You just cannot tell me it doesn't look like a UFO. On today's feature, let us explore the meticulous planning and coordination required to execute it flawlessly. The Super Bowl flyover of 2021 had three of the most famous bombers in modern U.S. military history. The B-2 Spirit, B-1B Lancer, Yes, I knew it was the B-1 Lancer. And the B-52 Stratofortress that arrived just as the final note of the national anthem was struck. See, if you were in the crowd, if I was in the crowd and I saw that, my goosebumps would be at like 100%. It would just be like, <laughs> But the seconds long appearance of the three aircraft took hours of planning and preparations. The B-1 was planned to fly from Ellsworth Air Force Base in South Dakota. The B-2 Spirit Stealth Bomber from Whiteman Air Force Base in Missouri. Oh, and so the B-52 from Minot Air Force Base in North Dakota. So they came from different starting points. Wow. Each of the aircraft had the flight plan loaded and filed ahead of time. Each aircraft crew had briefings that included the flight path and pattern and the rendezvous point where the bombers would come together prior to the flyover to form the flight formation. Flying at low altitudes in urban areas poses several challenges. So first the coordination happens with the local FAA office here. So playing the route, what's the best way for us to get uh, over the stadium? Is it from the east, the west, the south? Uh, and we'll figure out the best way to do that. Uh, what do we work with the sun angle? How's it going to look with downtown? What's our team going to look like? Then we take that plan to the FAA. Uh, number seven and number eight on our team, that's a lot of their job. Is there a camera out loud, that coordination with the uh, local FAA office? Coming up with a smart plan for that. We also have to smartly plan for other traffic that's going to be up there flying. There's helicopter traffic, uh, banner towers up there, so there's a lot of work that goes into that. Uh, and then on, on the ground, work with all these maintenance guys to make sure the jets can be ready to go. Look Air shows that. have been a great... The Blue Angels are bloody awesome, man. Honestly, I need to see these guys at an air show at some point. Place for pilots to put their skills on display. 
Perhaps the most well-known example of these death-defying aerobatics can be seen in the incredibly popular Blue Angels. Inside. The Blue Angels were formed back in 1946 as a Navy flight exhibition team. During the 1950s, the demonstration team added the F-9 Cougar and F-11 Tiger to its fleet and introduced the first six-plane Delta formation. In 1986, the Boeing F-A-18 Hornets replaced the existing aircraft in the fleet to celebrate their 40th anniversary. It's crazy how tightly they're flying. Just Today, a special division of the U.S. Navy, these F-18 Hornets travel all over the world, showing off stunts and delighting crowds. Damn, With the transition that. to the F-A-18 Hornet aircraft, the Blue Angels are able to perform intricate maneuvers with more precision and accuracy. Among which includes one of their most popular and difficult tricks, being the double farble. Introduced in 1962, the double farvel maneuver had both the flight leader and slot pilots fly inverted in close proximity. But how exactly is the double farvel executed? All the wingmen are going to separate. I'm going to move uh, to a, a position on top of boss and then um, we're going to make sure that our flaps are up or in auto in the F-18 and then we're also going to make sure that our inverted fuel pump system is working which basically allows us to fly inverted uh, more so than a, a regular F-18 that you'd find in the fleet. I think uh, in the Blue Angels video that I watched about six months ago something like uh, they've lost I think five percent of their pilots to accidents it might even be slightly higher than that Oh man, that, that's just a, just a tragedy because these guys are amazing at what they do. The capabilities of aircraft and their personnel have always impressed people on the ground. So everything we do as far as a flight demonstration is based off center point. Uh, we look for visual points that lead into that point. So we'll go out there, we'll just be flying around looking for those points and then uh, after that, once we find our points, we'll come back and we'll brief a demonstration practice. We inspire a culture of excellence and service to country, that's our mission. We do that through flight demonstration and community outreach. Um, so really we're just here to inspire the next generation of, of not just Marines, but Americans as a whole. I've asked this question before, guys, but what is this? Is 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 it uh, oil or something like that? Oil mixed with smoke? Like, what is this substance? Because it's not like a water vapor or anything like that, is it? Aerial stunts using planes may undoubtedly be a great show, but an equally invigorating stunt is pulled off by a team of highly trained parachutists. Look at these guys. <laughs> I need to do this at some point. I need to skydive. The United States Navy Parachute Team, often referred to as the Leapfrogs, is part of the United States Navy and is made up of active duty Navy SEALs, special wow. warfare combatant craft crewmen, and support personnel. It's just badasses, <laughs> basically. We jump into the biggest events we could find. 
to get exposure for the Navy and Naval Special Warfare. For these type of jumps, we're we're trying to get attention. So we're wearing smokes, pyrotechnics, dropping flags, doing uh, you know acrobatics in the air. The leapfrogs jump out of a plane and land in the center of a football field to portray precision and skill. Just being able to land exactly where you want to land is just However, so cool. However, just as with the flyovers, it takes a lot of coordination to get the presentation and accurate timely landing on the predetermined target mark. You got the wires? You got the flagpole right here. Alternate landing areas. There's a parking lot right outside to the, to the south. Pay close attention to the corners because in these corners you're gonna get, that's where you're gonna get the swirling winds. You're gonna get the wall of wind. Gosh, look how densely packed that stadium is, man. What's this gotta be like? A hundred thousand at least. At least. For decades now, daring pilots and passionate airmen have flown around the world to show off both their flying skills and the wonders of the flying machines. With the futuristic technology of tomorrow incorporated into modern aircraft, aviation aficionados are yet to witness the greatest of aerobatics in the skies. It's true. Like imagine when the, uh, the Blue Angels get the F-22s or the F-35s, because <laughs> at some point they, they probably will, right? And the maneuverability of those planes is just incredible. That's the end of this video. I hope wow. you- So impressive, honestly, just so impressive. The amount of work, time, dedication, planning, you know, it's just uh, really, really impressive just to see it all come together. Like something that only lasts, like the flyover lasts for about, what, 30 seconds? But it takes days, maybe even weeks of planning. Really impressive, can't wait to see it. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next one.